Hey folks, I wanted to show you a couple of things you can do once you have granted parents access to Schoology. Remember that parents, um, you already have a, a bunch of handouts for them on the Gaston County website on how they would make a Schoology.com account, not a Gaston account, and then use the access code you sent to log in. But I want to show you how to communicate with them once they are there. Um, first of all, the screen they will see is pretty much like yours um, and the students. Um, so the way this will work is when you go over to the course options in any course, um, we usually recommend doing this with homeroom. If you're a GVA teacher and your homerooms are split, then you could do it from um, ELA or even your PE course that you have that would have all your kids in it. Um, it doesn't really matter which one, um, but if you go to course options and send message, this will allow you to send messages to the whole class. So it'll say all members, and that means all teachers and students. But if you have any parents in that class, you can click on parents and this message will be sent to them uh, based upon how they have their notifications set. They might get an email or even a text. It just depends on how they set up with their account on their end. Kind of like you've changed your notifications on your end. Um, you'll notice that when you do your subject and your message, you even have those four icons we're used to seeing when we make pages, assignments, and discussions where you can attach files or links or even resources from Schoology, which I can't imagine doing a whole lot with parents. Um, but you can also record an audio or video message. So it's pretty cool. That's going to send that out again to all parents in that particular course. If you would like to send a message to an individual parent or student, you can go to members on the side. And you can go to the student and you'll see send message that will send a message directly to the student and then message parents will send a message to the parent attached to that student. And you can see right here that the parent will be smaller and in like sort of grayed out font underneath um, the student's name. So that's pretty slick. Um, really good way to communicate with parents. If you don't see that or don't want to go that route and you want to do a little bit faster, you're not in the right course, whatever it might be. You can go to the um, envelope in the top right corner and hit new message. And you should be able to um, search the student or parent's name up. So if I do would, should see the right one. Um, we have experienced some issues with people being able to find the right student here. Um, typically, you should only be able to message a student you're connected with. So you might only see students in your school or schools. Um, but um, we have changed some settings in there to make that work a little bit better. So you should be able to see everybody, but um, this is something that Schoology is already aware of if you don't see those types of things. But again, you see the same messages, I mean, the same options for the message there, and you can send it to multiple students or parents without sending it to all of them, okay? Um, the other things you might want a parent to do uh, or be aware of is that when you go to notifications in a course, you can determine which kind of email notifications that you want. And so can parents. So when you're in, you probably don't need an email notification when the course is updated because you're the one doing it, right? Um, you probably don't need a notification of any of these because you're the one that will be triggering most of those notifications. But a parent might want something as simple as course material being overdue um, to fire off an email, okay? If you want to get emails, notifications, um, or any kind of notifications from parents in general, you can do that for, um, at your actual account by going to settings and then there's a tab for notifications and again the one that relates to parents or um, messages within Schoology would be here under personal and you can make it so that it will fire off an email whenever you're sending a private message. Um, I think I would like that so I don't have to be in Schoology as much. Um, also kind of like up here where you can change it so that it will send a notification to your phone via text. Okay so that's kind of a neat way to do that. There's a lot of notifications in here, and I would be hesitant to turn them all on because you'd be getting a lot of emails, but this one seems to be advantageous. All right, so that's just a little bit about parents in school.